After leaving Punta del Este in Uruguay, we had a really calm and uneventful first days on the southern Atlantic. But the ocean was about to remind us why the Roaring Forties are said to be roaring. Yeah, so it's been two days that the ocean is flat as a pancake. We're supposed to be in the Roaring Forties and and they're not roaring so much. They're forties for sure, but not roaring. And but tomorrow, yeah, we do have a little bit more wind coming. Not that much, like 35, maybe 40 knots. Alright, so yeah, that's now and tomorrow. There we go, it's building, it's building. And then we'll catch the next one the day after. Yeah, should be pretty interesting. Let's see how everyone is preparing. How are you going to prepare for this wind that is coming? I'm gonna eat extra. But isn't it that what you're always doing? So I'm always prepared, like a boy scout. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline. Hello. How are you going to prepare for this wind that is coming? Oh, um, oh, I don't know, don't ask me that now. I uh, have Jacqueline no is voice. not prepared. Don't Josh, don't how are you going to prepare? Uh, make sure my crew are prepared. Oh. 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 And deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Seasick and tablets. Yeah? Okay. What about you, Arpo? I'm gonna sit in the lazarette. You're gonna sit in the lazarette? Yeah, my favourite place. And pray. <laughs> Fair enough. Sit in the rubbish tip. Jerome? That's some of the best work in there. Yeah, I'm gonna do shower before. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Jackie? I have um, just had a nice wash, got clean clothes on, prepared my bunk, and I'm well fed and rested. So. Ready. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. We're really not ready. Uh, <laughs> Alright, getting a Yankee back in. In this weather condition, it's always fun. <laughs> Shower here. Touch well, yeah. yeah. music! Quick! Well, Ready? Did you get food? Yeah. No, nah, I'll go for the end over, I'll come back. Yeah. Thanks. Yesterday afternoon, starting building 15, 20, then uh, we're going full mainsail and uh, Yankee 2, and uh, yeah, it's requesting like 40, 45 suddenly. Got a bit of a, of a knockdown. Quickly uh, blow the, the Yankee, 
and uh, to get rid in the main to be able to uh, keep steering away and uh, go down, go deep. And yeah, just did a little rip in the Yankee because of the frogging. Nothing major though. Uh, not too bad, we, do. we have good boat speed in between like yeah, around 12 knots average. So that's not too bad. We're going on a, on a fine ridge kind of. Uh, visibility is terrible. Uh, but yeah, we're by ourselves here, so no risk of keeping anything really. Uh, we're expecting to have these conditions till tomorrow. Tomorrow we should just go through a transition and getting into an, another low. So suddenly the wind is going to be more southerly. Should be a bit stronger. And uh, yeah, southern ocean, the roaring 40s finally. Maybe tomorrow night we'll get a bit more um, serious wind. Pretty good so far. interesting morning it just started just had time to wake up and at the same time we did we received the, the weather forecast just had time to see that the low pressure was moving on us much faster than we uh, had expected and yeah just a time to get on deck when was picking up just a time to uh, get the Yankee down get Reef 2 get Reef 3 uh, get the storm jib and uh, yeah we, we ended up putting the Reef 3 with, uh, with 70 knots uh, in the gust so now we are around 50 knots, 60 knots. <laughs> Going on Reef 3 and, uh, and Storm Jeep. And yeah, should be 18 hours of this. And we'll be slowing down and we'll be putting more canvas, but... See, see it's an interesting state at the moment. Let me show you this.
been a rough 36 hours. Um, the low pressure pass with the tail now, back into more normal wind speed, uh, 20, 25 knots. We're beating now and uh, getting ready for the next one. 24 hours, we have another low coming at us. So the, the beginning of the low is going to be tough because it's going to be upwind beating. But I don't have many other choices to. And tough it was indeed. In the southern hemisphere, the low pressures are turning clockwise, and normally, coming from the south, moving east. But this massive low pressure came from the northwest, meaning that we had to go through its southeast quadrant, beating upwind, before being catched up by the low and being able to surf into its northwest quadrant. In less technical terms, we spent about 18 hours beating into 50 to 60 knots of wind and 4 to 5 meter waves with only a storm jib and 3 reefs. Life on board was pretty hard, impossible to tell condensation and leaks apart when below deck and the only dry-ish place was your waterproof sleeping bag. But when I say sleeping, it's more resting. The boat was constantly dropping from a wave to another, slapping at the bottom like she had fell from a two-story building. I just finished my watch. Uh, I'm soaked, blowing 45 knots outside. We have three reefs, storm jib. Everything is soaked, everything is dripping water. My bank is wet. Boat is slamming in the waves. Southern Ocean low pressure, baby. Gotta love it. <sighs> Try to get four hours sleep before going on again. Waterproof sleeping bag is probably the only refuge in the boat at that on these days where everything is wet. Pretty good investment. I'm putting my wet clothes with me in the sleeping bag to dry them a little bit, at least warm them up. Good night. After 24 hours, everyone came out on deck pretty exhausted, in a boat bobbing around in only 5 knots of wind, but still an unorganized sea state. After a few hours, wind starting to build slowly, but from the southwest this time, giving us great surfing conditions finally, and we were able to surf our way into that low almost all the way to Cape Town. We're finally on the good side of the low pressure. Finally, we get to surf those dumb waves and not hit them in the face. Yeah, now we are, I think, four days from Cape Town. About a thousand nautical to go. Yeah, we, we if we're fast enough, if we manage to keep like about 11.5 average, we'll stay in the system to Cape Town. It'll be amazing. That's probably the last riff we take of this passage. Let's see how they can do. How fast this can go. Right. We need two more people. Can you come? Uh, one person on back, one squirrel. Right. Charlie, it's too 
six, Halong Bay, Vietnam, over. Mora Mora, uh, just requesting permission to cross the TSS, over. What did you say? Mora Mora? Mora Mora. It's uh, good morning. Mora Mora? Mora Mora. And Lacha is good. Josh cannot write English, but he can speak, say hello, how are you, and something in like 100 <laughs> languages. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Bless you! Bless you! Yeah. Right, it's been 16 days, 15 days, let's see. No, almost 16 days. 300. 3,946, so by we are, when we arrive would be 500, 3,950 3, <laughs> nautical it's, miles. It's a bit tired. Yeah. 10 knots average, and we're arriving probably fourth in Cape Town, except if UNICEF sinks in between here and the harbor. So we crossed an ocean, sailed 4,000 nautical miles, had like two low pressure, force 10 to 11, and now we're sitting in front of fucking Cape Town with no wind at all, and uh, UNICEF was like two miles right in front, stealing the podium. For fuck's sake. Right, so half an hour ago we were becalmed, and now we're struggling to pass the line with 40 knots of wind. I fucking hate sailing. <laughs> it's nice, we have the moon, we have Table Mountain, we have too much fucking wind. Close in a little, Josh. Grind on forward, running spring. All right, hold, everyone, hold. Hey, all right, guys. Good job, everyone. Please, a quick tidy up. We made it.